Ride is brought to you in part by 866 Law Friend. Ride safe, ride smart. Offices of Tom Harbor. When do you crave refreshing iced tea? Twisted Tea wants to know. The next time you want that same satisfying refreshment, but with a kick, grab a Twisted Tea. Twisted Tea, the refreshing hard iced tea that tastes like real iced tea with a kick. Thanks for tuning in to Born to Ride TV. This week, we take you to the AIM Expo and learn about Moto D. The Zero Motorcycle Company was there, and we have a feature with Preston Perry, courtesy of Motorcycle.com and Zero Motorcycle. And we have a new series, Bravery and Bullets, a tribute to combat veterans by Nick Amrhein. And now, our special co-host, Mr. Brian Knobs from the Nasty Boys. Ha <laughs> ha, it's the legendary Nasty Boy Brian Knobs, one half of the Nasty Boys, and I'm your host today for Born to Ride. You better get ready, cause this show's gonna be crazy and it's gonna get nasty. Hey, I've been part of Born to Ride for over 20 years, before it even was born, and Nasty Ronnie used to be our manager. So you know, check it out, it's gonna get crazy. So here at the 2015 AIM Expo in Orlando, Florida, you can see just about anything that will help your performance on the motorcycle. And with me now is Scott with Moto D. Scott, what is Moto D? Moto D is a performance riding sport bike accessory company. We're at the track where where the rider is. We love meeting our customers. So what we have are some awesome products that will let the rider have a great time. They're working so hard during the week. They come to the track on the weekend, you use our stuff and you're gonna have a blast. So I'm gonna show you one of our products. It's our Pro Series Tire Warmer. It's gonna give you amazing confidence because it's gonna heat your tire. You can go fast right from the start. It's over here, it's our handcrafted unit. It comes in three available kinds. One is our digital unit, one is our double temperature unit, and the last but not least is the single temperature unit. They're all handcrafted, professional grade, using carbon wire. What is so special about carbon wire? It heats hotter, faster, and it uses less power, only 750 watts per pair. It's incredible because it's gonna allow you to use your tires, get the best grip out of them, the best wear from them, and right from the start, you're gonna be able to stay in front of your competition and you don't have to worry that you're gonna have any problems when you get out there on the track. You'll have the confidence right away coming right from the garage onto the track. It's amazing, what else do you guys provide? So in addition, we provide amazing tech support and warranty on the tire warmer. If you have any issues with it, questions about it, please call us 24 seven. We warranty the unit in house. It comes with a two year, no hassle warranty and a beautiful carrying case. So if you've got a great warmer, put it in a great case, it keeps it clean. You can also put a power cord in there your phone in there, whatever the case may be, and it keeps it dry and clean and safe from the rain and things like that. Our GPS unit is over here. It's a motorcycle GPS lap timer and data logger. 
when you're out on the track, you want to know if what you're doing is working. And in order to do that, you need to record your times. Uh, use the data logger as you go around the track and then bring that home with you, download your data, and you'll get a telemetry uh, angle over a Google map. Um, you'll see if you took an in inside line, an outside line, where you were braking, where you were on the gas, and you'll be able to learn ab about your riding and maybe things that you can do to go faster sa and safer and smoother. Is this something that you can see right away? You get off the track, you can look at your uh, feedback right, out, right when you come off? Yes, absolutely. It does have the ability to show you right at the track what your lap time was and some other important information. And then you can come home, download on a PC, and dive into it further and really start to sculpt away at where you're riding, maybe has some weaknesses. You can then come back to the track later and then work on that some more. And maybe brag to your friends or maybe not if your lap times weren't exactly where you thought they would be. Uh, absolutely. <laughs> the, the great thing about the GPS lap timer is, it, it is it's the ultimate truth teller. So there's no more lying to your friends if you're fast or slow, but it is a great and powerful tool. You can share it with your friend as well, so our unit easily comes off, um, and you can put it onto another motorcycle. So if you've got a friend that's faster, take it off, give it to them, let them go around, and then take that data, look at what you're doing, and you've got a direct comparison. So that's a great tool. Yeah, prove it, right? Prove it, exactly. Uh -huh. Are Absolutely. these products available now? Products are available now from direct from Moto D, uh, MotoDRacing.com, or from any of our retailers. We've got approximately 300 retailers in the U.S., uh, so please reach out to them. We love supporting your dealers. Uh, check out Moto D uh, at MotoDRacing.com. Uh, fast, free shipping on everything, amazing warranty, tech support, um, and thank you so much for your support. And you can always stop by the booth here at AIM Expo in Orlando, Florida. Make sure you guys check it out because I'm pretty competitive, so I want to know what my lap times are compared to yours. Hey, hey, it's Nasty Boy Brian Knobs, one of the legendary wrestlers of the Nasty Boys. And I'm telling you, Born to Ride is where it's at. It's their 20th anniversary, and we'll be at their big party in Brandon. So I'm telling you, to my good buddy Nasty Ronnie, we even got in the ring together. He was a manager for us a long, long time ago. So it's about to get a little bit crazy and a whole lot of nasty. Get ready, Born to Ride, because it's 20 years of greatness. You're invited Sunday, November the 22nd, Born to Ride's 20th year anniversary party at Harley-Davidson of Brandon. There'll be a 10-class bike show and much more to come. Live in concert is Sobriety X. And it's Jeff Vitolo and the Quarter Mile Rebels. Special thanks to 866-LAW-FRAN. I've been representing accident victims for nearly a decade, and I've always wanted an office where my clients would feel comfortable and welcome. I'm attorney Fran Hosh, and I've also always been a fighter never backing down to any insurance company or their attorneys when it comes to representing my client's rights. Let me deal with the insurance company so you don't have to. If you've been injured in an accident, please call me at 866-LAW-FRAN or log on to lawfran.com. Now you can take Born to Ride everywhere and anywhere. The new Born to Ride mobile app is ready for you to download. There's more multimedia, more information, more born to ride like never before. Crystal Harley Davidson in Homosassa is hosting a summer payment event. We can help you find your personal freedom with a payment that fits your personal budget. Every motorcycle has payment options clearly posted on it. We have brand new Harley Davidsons for only $99 per month, 1.99% for 60 months, and zero down payment options. Remember at Crystal Harley Davidson, we are the king of trades, offering you full blue book value for your trade-in. There is always something happening at Crystal Harley Davidson. Saturday, October 31st and Sunday, November 1st, meet the legendary Jean Davidson and her son John at Crystal Harley Davidson. Get a copy of her book and she will sign it for you. Live music, food, and Harley Davidson motorcycles, merchandise, and more. Don't miss this great event at Crystal Harley Davidson. Find us on Facebook, Born to Ride TV and Magazine the ultimate multimedia biker experience. Hey, hey, it's Nasty Boy Brian Knobs, one half of the legendary tag team, the Nasty Boys. And did you get your edition of Born to Ride magazine? 
It's the best biker magazine in the nation. You gotta read it. And they're coming up for their 20th anniversary. And thank God to my nasty brother, Nasty Ronnie. I'll tell you one thing, this is the magazine. If you're into bikes, motorcycles, even mopeds, you gotta read it. It gets crazy and a little bit nasty. Each morning you wake up and go, hey, what's new and exciting to do? And what improvements and changes can we make? And joy can we experience with it? It gives you a reason to live. You got to have a reason to get up each morning. <laughs> Sometimes it isn't always easy to see the progress we're making, especially when we're moving in circles. Past, present, future. Motorcycling legend Preston Petty has been there and done it all. From his early years as a top level amateur dirt track racer, international off-road star, and motocross pioneer in the 1960s, and as an inventor who literally reshaped an industry by creating the world's first unbreakable plastic dirt bike fenders. Even now, at 74 years of age, Petty continues to be a visionary by showing how his electric-powered Zero motorcycle has what it takes to be competitive in the gritty world of dirt track motorcycle racing. Oh, it's, it's got excellent 100% torque at zero RPM, and so you have plenty of power. Uh, and, and it's neighbor-friendly. <laughs> you can run it, and the neighbor next door here doesn't even hear you, let alone complain. and you don't have to you know, set valves and uh, that sort of thing. About the only maintenance thing on this, of course, the tires and the, the chain on it. Uh, but otherwise, not, not much. Maintenance for the rider. Because <laughs> at my age, I need a lot of maintenance. Preston Petty's indomitable spirit has always driven him to improve the sport of motorcycling. It was this same spirit that led Petty to come up with a replacement for the brittle aluminum fenders that adorned off-road motorcycles in the 1960s. Uh, fell down, uh, going on a downhill on my Mako in an enduro with an alloy fender and it, it bent up and uh, I straightened it out and then it, of course it doesn't last and it broke off and I thought, boy, well, there has to be a way to, to make a fender that you can bend over backwards and have it snap back in, in position. And uh, that was my whole objective. And that was 1969. And it took me about a year to figure out uh, how to build the mold for it, injection molding, because I knew nothing about plastic. And then in another couple of years, we had the plastic uh, pretty good, tough, you know. Which, and so that kind of got it started. I, in 1972, I was able to uh, buy my own injection molding machine and start doing our, our own stuff. Uh, in-house uh, up in Oregon, Newburgh, Oregon. And uh, that went on for about 10 years. Petty's idea sparked a revolution, and it wasn't long before the motorcycle manufacturers followed suit and began equipping their motorcycles with plastic fenders and fuel tanks right from the factory. After successful careers in the motorcycle industry and in the field of microcomputers, Petty retired, but he eventually found his way back to his dirt track racing roots. And why not? Dirt track racing gets in the blood. It invokes an intense passion amongst its participants and fans. A passion that is often handed down from father to son or father to daughter. Hey, don't change that channel. We'll be right back, right here on Born to Ride. It's getting nasty, baby. You're invited Sunday, November the 22nd for Born to Ride's 20th year anniversary party at Harley-Davidson of Brandon. There'll be a 10-class bike show and much more to come. Live in concert is Sobriety X. And it's Jeff Vitolo and the Quarter Mile Rebels. Special thanks to 866-LAW-FRAN. 
you've been involved in a motorcycle accident, I'm the biker on your side. I'm Fran Hush, your attorney that rides. Motorcycle accidents get my experience and personal attention. And there are no fees, no costs, unless you win. I've dedicated my career to helping accident victims and their loved ones. Your rights are my fight, and I'll never settle for less than you deserve. If you've been injured in a motorcycle accident, please call me at 866-LAW-FRAN or log on to lawfran.com. If you're in the market for a motorcycle, I've got two guys that'll take care of you right here. Derek? Let me tell you something. Come up here and see the family, because you will be part of our family, and you will enjoy it every month of every year. That's Harley Davidson of Ocala, Ray. Yep, Harley Davidson of Ocala, where you're treated like family every day, all day long, all year long. Come see us. These guys got it all happening. Check them out. Let them roll, baby. Let them roll. Let them roll. Let them roll. Born to Ride Magazine, the hottest, baddest, most popular magazine for the biker lifestyle. Hard-hitting, action-packed, up-to-date, real content, exclusive stories and interviews that always leave you wanting more. Local and national coverage that you can always count on. Born to Ride Magazine can now be delivered directly to your door. Only $39.95 for 12 issues. Act now. Act now, and the first 100 orders receive free. free. The best of Born to Ride TV Volume 1 DVD. Order now. Order now. 888-795-5779. Or check out orderride.com. Born to ride. Fun Bike Center Motorsports. It's Lake Mass Center for fun. Fun Bike Center's 60,000 square foot showroom is packed with great motorcycle deals. Stop in and save on a Harley Davidson V Rod. Yours for only $10,488. Or take home the Yamaha FJR1300 for only $89.95. See more great deals now at funbikecenter.com. Open late every Wednesday night. Saturday, October 31st, and Sunday, November 1st, meet the legendary Jean Davidson and her son John at Crystal Harley Davidson. Get a copy of her book, and she will sign it for you. Live music, food, and Harley Davidson motorcycles, merchandise, and more. Don't miss this great event at Crystal Harley Davidson. It was while at one of these Southern California bull rings that one of Petty's sponsors engaged him with a real what if question. What if an electric powered motorcycle could be competitive in the sport of dirt track racing? Yeah, well a friend of mine uh, here about two and a half years ago, uh, I was helping him out at Paris. He was riding a KTM 450 and just learning uh, flat track and uh, he, he asked me, he's in the building electrical automation business and, uh, and he asked me if uh, if I thought an electric motorcycle could be competitive. And I said, yeah, I don't know, but I guess it could be. Uh, and he said, well, try to find one and set it up and let's see what happens. So that's kind of where we're at. We've been doing it. That was about two years ago. We had our first race on it. And it's, it's done fairly well. Petty adapted a regular production zero electric motorcycle for dirt track racing. And with minimal changes, he has racked up numerous wins in the sportsman ranks where he often competes against riders several years his junior. Even at 74 years young, old Preston still races to win. Oh, well, it's been interesting. Uh, the, the power delivery took quite a bit to uh, get used to uh, because it's strong immediately on the, on the when, you, when you hit the throttle on it, it's gone. And you better make sure you have enough traction <laughs> under you when you do that. But the, uh, this, the, the quietness of it, that's nice. And it's got regenerative braking, so you got, unlike a two-stroke, you can use it uh, like a four-stroke. And you can, when you shut the throttle off, it actually does noticeable braking on the rear wheel. So I like that. Was, and uh, some of the other riders complain about when I pass them that, I can't hear you coming, man. I didn't know you were there. Oh, well, that's good, man. That's what I want. <laughs> it's all in good fun, of course, but Petty's success does provide a little food for thought. After all, if this new tech electric powered motorcycle can be effective in the grand old sport of dirt track racing, how much more successful might it be in the urban environment for which it was designed? You know, you know electric powered vehicles 
are, are made really for urban traffic uh, because of the torque. They got all the torque at, at zero RPM. Uh, they're not running when you're not going anywhere. They're sitting there uh, to like stop at a signal or something. And, uh, and, and they actually get better mileage in town than they do out on the freeway. So it's ideal for urban stuff. And I think it will preempt it. And with the motorbike, it's, it's, this thing is so handy. You can sneak up between some cars and when the signal changes, you're just gone. And, and it's quiet and simple. <laughs> the cops don't hear you. <laughs> Maybe Petty himself says it best when describing just where the electric-powered motorcycle fits into the transportation world today. Well, this, this thing is, is, is a pioneer in it. It's, it's the first real readily available motorbike that, that has all electric technology. The past is glorious, the future is bright, and the present, well, that's pretty darn impressive too. Perhaps the best takeaway is that Preston Petty's legacy is here to stay, and there are more chapters to be written. He doesn't plan to stop doing what he loves anytime soon. Gotta ask the man upstairs or downstairs, depending on which way I'm going, you know. Maybe neither one wants me, that's why I'm still here. <laughs>10 days after I graduated high school, I spent the next 13 weeks in living hell that turned, uh, turned me and, and dozens of other young men that I was with into men. And uh, we did Desert Storm, Desert Shield. I was there when uh, Hussein set fire to the oil fires and it turned the skies black as midnight at noon. You could taste the oil in the air and you could feel it on your skin. I was, uh, I was a driver for three years and then for a very short time, I was a gunner after we got back to the States, and then I became a, a tank commander right before I got out. 
Desert Storm proved that we were top dog in the world. That was one of the most perfect wars this country's ever seen. It was 100 hours of ground war, 100 hours. We had very limited casualties and just, we accomplished our mission, 100 hours. I brought this USMC soft cover. This is what, uh, this is the camouflage pattern we had when I was in. One of the reasons I brought this is to illustrate how small it is now and to show that, you know, how young we are, what a difference being a kid makes in, you know, compared to where you're at now. I'm 44 years old now. I wouldn't think my head had grown, but I mean, it's amazing. I can't even get it around my, get it around my globe anymore. And then I brought my uh, yearbook from boot camp, 1988. Marine Corps Recruit Depot, San Diego, California. These are the most feared and most respected men on the planet for me. My four drill instructors right there. They, uh, we started with over 100 people in our platoon. We graduated a little over 80. I remember their voices to this day in my head. And when I'm on the road and I don't feel like listening to the radio, I'll catch myself singing cadence. Cadence is the, is the marching songs and the running songs, and I'll catch myself singing Cadence, and a lot of times I'll do it in their voices. Everywhere I go, there's a drill instructor there. Everywhere I go, there's a drill instructor there. Then he'd go, Mama, mama, can't you see what the Marine Corps done to me? Shaved my head and shaved my face, made me a part of the human race. After I got out of the Marine Corps, I was bumming around and, and uh, I, actually, I actually was homeless for a while. I was always looking for the brotherhood I had when I was in the Marine Corps, you know, knowing because there's nothing like being down and out, knowing no one's got your back. To look for the feeling of, that you had when you knew the guy next to you had your back. And then I found the Leathernecks Motorcycle Club, LMCI, Leathernecks Motorcycle Club International. It's comprised of all veteran and active duty Marines and Navy corpsmen, FMF corpsmen. I mean, we're, we're doing everything we can. Everything we do is to help veterans because if we don't take care of each other, who will? 22 veterans a day commit suicide. A day. I mean, that's, a, that's unacceptable to us. So we do everything we can to reach out and bring them in because they're our family. So that's what we do. And we ride motorcycles and have a great time.